The one thing you really notice here in Raqqa City, apart from the destruction which is pretty much everywhere all around us, is the absence of people. When we've been into other cities in Mosul and Sark where IS have fled, people were always coming out, but not here. And the, the reason for that, we just held some coalition airstrikes not that long ago. It rattled the shutters here. And we can hear artillery, and that artillery shelling is almost constant. It's because the real fighting is going on from about a, a kilometre, two kilometres from where I am right now. There, people are facing IS snipers, minefields, and coalition bombardments from artillery and from those coalition jets. The old city is just down here, actually. So, imagine living in that for a moment. And if we just look up here, this was somebody's home. Look at the, the bullet holes all over that. There almost isn't a building in this city that we've passed that has been untouched by the violence. And if we just move down here a bit closer, beyond there, right inside Raqqa, almost an ironclad death trap has been created for people, where they're facing snipers, they're facing minefields. Another boom from artillery, I think that was just then. There's no option of escape for civilians. It's much better for them at the moment. There's less risk if they stay in the midst of all of that in IS territory than try to escape. That's why these streets are so empty. More gunfire just in the background there. One of the things to bear in mind is there's about 20 to 25,000 people still inside the city, trapped by IS, trapped by those coalition airstrikes. About half of them are children. Their options are very limited at the moment. No one's coming back to the city anytime soon. It's going to take a long time before it's retaken. The SDF say it may take them a month. It might take a bit longer than that. But for the people trapped inside Raqqa, it's absolute hell and they have almost no escape.